What's up, YouTube? Luke, the window cleaner. Um, it's 6.15 in the morning. Here at a construction cleanup job again. This time, it's French windows. So, let's take a look at what we're gonna do today. Ceilings are all nice and painted. this to go. I'll clean all that. Pretty rough shape. This looks like from maybe the painter was trying to do some paint scraping there. So anyways, let's get started on some French window construction cleanup. All right guys, I have a little kind of channel organizer with some extra things in it here. I'll use something like this. Go forward to my windows. Let's see. Let's see the right size. I'm gonna use Sharpie real quick here. Sharpie right here. All right. Let's go see what size channel we're gonna need. It might not be the right size for all of them, but. As long as I get the bulk of them with one, one pass. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty close. Still not it. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut a channel for this. I'll show you. Yeah, if you can see. measured the size of the French panes, got an old channel here, marked it with a sharpie, got my little baby hacksaw, got this guy's size, and we'll just do one pulls on these instead of two. Okay, when you cut your channel, it's important to kind of file it off so it doesn't scratch the window. File off any burrs. on this. I know what you're thinking. That seems a bit excessive for, for French, but it took about it took about five minutes to make. It's going to save me a lot of time if I'm not having to do two poles, just one. Um, and no, I don't do this every time for French windows, just when there's a whole lot like this. Um, I'll cut a channel so I don't have to do two pulls. It'll save you some time. And once you've been doing this for a while, you'll stockpile, hopefully you'll stockpile some extra channels and you can cut some down. And you'll also see once you start cutting uh, channels down like that, a lot of your fringe windows are kind of the same size and you will end up uh, just reusing the same ones a lot of the time for other jobs. So there we go. Let's see how it fits. And we'll get going. So that fits very good. So now we'll be doing one pull on these instead of two. That's going to be a time saver. So it was worth the five minutes just to cut that channel. All right. Load up our caddy here. This little caddy I bought from Lowe's, it's collapsible. Put some towels, extra steel wool. Maybe Gatorade since it's maybe about 100 degrees again.
an important part of uh, French windows when you're doing them. Uh, don't soak your washer. You don't want it dripping wet. What you want to do is have it usually dunk line good and then uh, wring it out and then just let it kiss the water again. If these get real wet, it can make a real mess for you and they'll just be seeping down and making it harder on you. Um, usually you see, you'll find kind of how many you can do in a, in a cleaning, like at a time. I usually do about anywhere from four to six, depending on the heat. Um, of course, the hotter it is, the quicker the solution dries and the less you can do. So here I'm doing four at a time. Um, and maybe you can do more, I don't know, but that's about what I do. And another thing, guys, I don't usually recommend using a razor on French windows. Um, they can scratch pretty easy. Now, my customer here, uh, he knows the drill. I've been working for him for a long time. And um, he already knows that there's a, a chance they can get scratched, but when they are this bad um, for me to get it done in a timely manner I need to be able to razor some of them I tried to steal wool as much as I can because there's so much on here I mean you can see it all coming off on the steel wool now that's also why you see me wipe my squeegee blade a whole lot that debris off of there Storm's moved in. Looks like it's gonna rain now. I think out on a job like this, I don't really have to quit. I'm gonna start on the inside. I've almost finished the outside. I just got the back part of the house now. So, I think it's supposed to stop raining in about two hours or so. Give me time to do the inside, then come back out and finish. Yeah. Thank you, Rain.